click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the system programs, the types of system programs, the system utilities and how in user view can depend on the system programs. A modern aspect of an operating system is a system program. If you look at the computer hierarchy, we can see at the best level or at level zero, there is a hardware. After that is an operating system. After that are system programs. And finally, there are application programs. Now the system programs provide an environment for program development and better execution. They can be the interface as to small and simple user system calls or some others can be more complex to define that. Now we will divide the system programs into different categories. The first one is the file management. As we know there are some system programs to define create, delete, list, print, copy or move and manipulate the file systems. The next one is the status information. Some system can provide uh, basic information like a system current date or the number of vision, the version of the operating system or the amount of available memory and so on. And some system may use the detailed performance, debugging and logging information. Now this information can directly put to the terminal or to a storage devices or files or even a window in a GUI system. Some uses a registry which is a storage and which can be stored and retrieved configuration information. The next type of system program is the file manipulation. Some system programs there are to able to create and modify the contents of the files that are stored on disk and other storage devices. They can perform transformation of the task too. The next one is the programming language support. The compilers, assemblers, debuggers, interpreters for some common programming languages known as C, C++, Java, Visual Basic, Perl are available to the operating system via the available separated download or within the operating system kernel itself. The next one is the program loading and execution. After the program being compiled and assembled, it is then loaded into the memory for execution. The system may provide an absolute loader, relocatable loader, linkage editor or overlay loader. And the assembler and protection needed for some higher level languages as well as machine level languages are as well. The next one is communication system call. The system must provide some system call to create a virtual communication to the user, to the processes and to the computer system, via which a user can send messages to one another screen, search via the web browser, remote login and the process completion. This way that it can communicate to each other via transferring files to one another. Now, apart from the services, there are some programs which can solve common problems or can perform common operations like web browsers, operations, word or processor, text formatter, debugging system, development system, database system and all. These are system utilities which can be performed as well as the application program. Now most of the user's view of the operating system can be defined by the application and system program, not by the actual system call. For example, take a Macintosh OS X system in which the command interpreter within an window or several GUIs can be taken as example. They can be performed in application and system programs that looks like system calls in similarity, but actually the system calls can look different and act in different ways. But that doesn't matter whether the user is viewing the operating system or the interface they are using. So these system programs help us to modify and accessing the operating system in a smooth and reliable way. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.